Spain's top source of electricity. In 2013, the country's 15 million households relied more on renewable energy than on the nuclear, meaning that pollution has dropped. It's a huge step forward for green activists, but the future of the industry remains uncertain. Deeply hit by the economic crisis, the Spanish government has started to cut subsidies, threatening hundreds of jobs. Sarah Morris, Adeline Percept and Clément Perrault report. Don Quixote saw them as giants he needed to fight. But windmills in modern Spain aren't just the stuff of fiction. This is the only country where wind is the primary source of energy. With unemployment topping 26% here, many Spaniards think renewables can create jobs. This Madrid course in wind turbine maintenance is full. It's a job with a future. Many wind farms are getting old and will soon need to be upgraded. Some of these students have been unemployed for a long time. Ruben used to work as an architect until four years ago. I've had to look for another completely different option that could allow me to find a job. Large Spanish companies are among the world leaders in green energies, and they use Spain as their laboratory before expanding abroad. This is Maranchon, a wind park owned by Iberdrola. Built in 2005, for some years it was the largest and most powerful park in Europe. What was new about this place was that there were many wind turbines. All in the same park using the latest technologies, very powerful, two megawatts. All that made this installation a pioneering one. Spain has also pioneered offshore wind turbines. At Madrid University, Iberdrola tests some of its latest systems for towing the turbines out to sea. The goal is to reduce the cost of offshore wind turbines by erecting and repairing them on the docks instead of at sea. Here we have a wind turbine being towed and we're trying to see how the turbine moves by simulating different types of waves. But these research and development projects were paid for by the state in deals agreed before the crisis. Ocean Leader is a national project which has received 15 million euros of public funding. But nowadays its financing has become much more complicated. Public funding is decreasing and it's a disadvantage for us as other countries have been able to maintain high levels of public funding. The government pulled the plug on subsidies for renewables a year ago. Experts feel the sector's future is uncertain. Luzon in eastern Spain is one of the many villages chosen for an enormous wind park. The mayor says building the park helped the village survive. Thanks to the wind farm, we've been able to keep this area populated. 50 people work here. By paying taxes to the village, the business is giving a vital economic boost to our community. There are about 15 or 20 small companies that make a living directly thanks to the wind farm business. This mayor believes the end of public subsidies will mean other towns and villages won't be able to develop a green economy like here. As a result, Spanish companies are seeking their fortunes overseas. The danger to Spain is that with more business abroad, these firms might think about moving production out of their homeland. And it's time now for the France 24 Sports Roundup. Take a look. At the Winter Olympics, France swept the board in the men's freestyle ski cross event. Jean-Frédéric Chapuis winning gold in Sochi. Chapuis was joined on the podium.